What's up guys and welcome back. Today I'll be making a chill house track like Fred again and this is a little snippet of what I'll be making. This is the second time on the channel I'm doing a track like Fred again. The first one was around seven months ago. If you want to check that video out, it'll be linked in the top right too. If you want the project file and the stems of this track I'll be making today, it'll be available to download in my community, which is linked down below. It's got loads of other great benefits like monthly samples, calls, courses, etc. But without further ado, let's get into it. Let's set the BPM to 118, pretty cool for Chill House. Let's get an atmosphere going in the background to set the vibe. Got this drone here playing a C. Add a low cut EQ on that first and foremost, and then an RC20 for the texture. For the second melodic layer in the background, I've added a Tal Uno LX, a really warm sound. It's a soft sound because the cutoff is quite low, it's got some chorus as well as a plucky ADSR. I've added this melody and it sounds like this. First just added a pitch drift from Baby Audio to give it a little bit of movement. And next, a baby comeback from Baby Audio with the cheap flavor on and the time set to an eighth note. And just a low cut EQ on that too. So in Fred's track, Adore You, he has this really weird square kind of pluck that plays both in the intro and throughout the track. And I want to do something kind of similar. Just loaded up the init sound in Polymer, which is the Wavetable synth in Bitwig. And I'm just going to make some kind of melody and then sound design after. So I just got this foundation pedal note kind of melody for the melody and I'll add some other notes on top. Copy that over. And then make a variation on the last one. Sounds cool, but I want some swing in that, so we'll enable the groove. But let's sound design now. So I made this square kind of plucked too, and it sounds like this. It's a square wave or a pulse wave, which has added some pulse width to make it a bit thinner. We also got a square sub oscillator that's pitched an octave down, and we're phase modulating the pulse wave up here with the sub oscillator. We also have some noise and a filter with the cutoff modulation modulated by the filter, so we get a plucky sound, as well as this plucky ADSR here for the volume. But you can hear and see that there's some movement going on, and that's coming from these two modulators. So first we got this random modulator, and that's mapped to the filter, which looks like this, which makes sure that the filter opens up kind of randomly, giving some movement to the sound. You can also see here with the blue thing here that the filter opens up randomly. But the main thing giving the movement is this thing called the Parsec 8, which is a sequence modulator. If I disable it, it'll sound like this. Sounds cool and has that fundamental tone, but this is what's giving the movement. And you can see over here the different modulations that are going on. Basically, this is two bars, and each one of these is an eighth note. So each eighth note, something different happens. You can see that the sequence moves over each eighth note. First, we got the phase modulation for the second eighth note. There's some things going on with the pitch of the first oscillator. The cutoff is opening or closing here and the resonance, and so on. It's just things to give it movement. On that, I've added a blur to give it some width. Turn the mix down a bit. And we got a baby comeback for some delay. It's a really fast delay set on the free and 40 milliseconds, which gives us this really glitchy sound. We got a reverb after that. And a low cut EQ. To arrange it though, I'm first going to have the pluck playing for four bars and then introduce the atmospheres. But after these four bars with the atmospheres come in, I want a section with a chord sound. I pulled up one of my presets, link down below, it sounds like this. And I'm going to create some chords with it. There's no effects on that, but I'm going to add a low cut EQ, which I'll disable for now and automate so it's only on in the drop when I add a sub bass underneath. I'm 
gonna cut out everything for the last two beats before the drop, and then I'll start working on the drop. Copy over the melody as well as the chord here. Let's bring in the atmospheres after four bars. The second one I'll actually have come in after the eight bars. I wanna layer this with a piano though. Just got an Imagera piano up and sounds like this. And let's just copy over the progression here and add some more notes. Some EQ, some SSQ to boost the highs as well. And some reverb. Let's get some drums in. Kick. The shaker I've chopped up and added. Frequency shifter on that. RC20. Duck to get rid of the transients. And EQ to cut out those lows. This rim shot. I've also added a delay on that rim shot with a foreman filter and a pitch shifter pitching it slightly up in key. This doesn't hit with a swung note, so I'm going to bounce that out and chop it up to make it fit. I've removed the delay from the original sound, and now it sounds like this. Right now, the drums sound like this. Add a hi-hat. I've actually added a drum loop sample from one of Fred's own tracks, Maria in. And it sounds like this. It's one of Fred's most popular tracks, but I've added a frequency shift around that to make it sound a little bit different. An EQ. And an RC20, and it sounds really cool in the background now. And lastly, another little hat to accentuate that groove. We're going to group those drums together and then add some soft clipping from this to this. Just makes it a little bit more punchy. But we also need some side chain on the synths. Just turn it down, turn it down to like 45%. And on that chord sound, let's enable the EQ and turn it on in the drop. Let's add it in a bass now. So I've made the sound in FM4, which is just an FM synth in Bitwig. It's pretty simple, it's just the initial preset, but I've turned up the modulation coming from the second oscillator to the first one. And made the envelope a little bit plucky, and then some decapitator for some distortion. And we're just going to take the bass notes from the chord and cut out the higher notes. I'm also actually just going to add a melody in the last section here. I'm going to use the Celesti in Image Your Piano like this and turn up the tone a bit. Add a Valhalla Supermassive and add this melody. Lastly, I've just added a little bit of a master. I've turned down the gain before the master because I wanted this analog style EQ to get a little bit of headroom. Then we get a G clip to hard clip the track. And lastly, a limiter to push it. That's it for this track idea. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys, and I'll play the track through.
Take care, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.